is Itini Residential, another abandoned project. I visited this site to see the progress on this site. On getting there, I saw no worker. Nothing was going on on the site. It dawned on me. I decided to do this video to ask if this estate was it over hype? Is it another abandoned project? Please kindly stay till the end of this video as I give you my honest opinion about this estate, Ichinu Residential. I'm right here at Ichinu Residential in Ipechiliki. I want to give you the full update, the current state of this estate, Ichinu Residential. Kindly stay till the end of this video to get the full update to know how this site is as of July 2022. Please stay to the end of this video. If you have not started my channel, please kindly subscribe. My name is Dennis Son. What I do is a good property that has potentials of appreciating very well. Please kindly stay to the end of this video. Let me give you the latest updates of its new residential estate in Ibejibeki. The good thing is this. When you write things down, you can always make reference to it when it goes sour. And that is the thing I do personally. I make sure I write my goals down and I always make reference to it to know whether I have achieved it or not. The company behind this estate, Veritasi, before they launched this estate, even from the pre-launch, the company wrote their goal about this estate. They wrote what they will achieve in the next three months the next 12 month, the next 18 month, and then the next 24 month. So, let's look at what this company wrote. That will determine if this project has been abandoned or not. This 18 residential was formally launched in February. And in three month time, which was May, the price was increased. And what did the company promise in that three month? The company promised that the first phase, the first completion of the road network will be done, the drainage system and the landscaping. That's what the company promised in the first three months, which was from February to May. And the company also promised that the second phase of the completion of the road network, which will last for 12 months, will start immediately. One other thing you should be aware of is this. It's very hard to see a company that within the first three months of launch, in May precisely, its residential did its first allocation. Within three months of constructing what they have done so far, they did land allocation to the first set of investors in this estate. This is an event that took part in May 2022. They like the development that is going on in the estate, they like the plot and they like the whole project. My client is impressed. I would say it's new residential, it's what every investor should invest in. My experience with the company has been um, very, very great. Let's compare the before. at what they've done so far and compare with the promise which the company said they would do. We are still in the second phase of this particular project, the milestone that the company set, which is we are within the fifth month, which is July currently. So let's look at it and compare. What we should expect in this month is the road network, the drainage system, 
and the landscaping. So let's flip. Let's start from the road network. Externally, they've done a good road from the express. You can drive in to the estates. Just look at this. There's road network and there's car park, and also in the landscaping too, they've done a couple of good job too. Compared to other estates around, this is the basketball court, which is good, and uh, this is the car park, and they um, started planting flowers, and which is part of the landscaping, the gate house too, they've started. Then also, let's look at the drainage system, they make reference to the drainage system that they would do. They've done part of the drainage system, which is by the right hand side, and also by the left hand side, which is what they promised in the first three months, and part of the next six months. Okay. Did they keep to their promise? Looking at it properly, although one would say we expect more, Have they done what they say they will do in the last three months to five months. Yes, they've done what they said they would do. They've done the face, the first phase of it. Then we are currently in the second phase, which is still the expansion of what they've done in the first phase. So, will you call this project an abandoned project? No, I will not call it an abandoned project. The day I came to this site, it was actually during the weekend. And I think that week, there was no work. That is why you see, we didn't see any worker. And that day, this particular day, it was raining cat and dog. And that is why you can see water up there and there. This estate, Itini Residential, is still very much available. You can get a 300 square meter and you can also get a 500 square meter. The 300 square meter is currently going for 15.6 and the 500 square meter is going for 26 million naira. I have another good news for you. This same estate, I just sent this estate, something wood is coming. You have the opportunity to buy the next estate, which is still on pre-launch. But hold on, it will be formally launched on the 4th of August, which is a new city and it has residential and commercial. It will have more features than even this current Itinu residential. It will have a mini golf course, it will have a knowledge park to have water park and lake to have industrial area to have central business center um that is central business district to have a tech city to have a park and a garden to also have a family entertainment center please please and please i want you to kindly inbox me now so that i can give you the updates and give you the price when the price is house. The launching date for this Etunu City residential and commercial is on the 4th of August 2022. So, my name is Dennis Song. What I do is to give you properties that have potentials of appreciating very well. That is why I'm giving you this estate. I'm showing you this Etunu City right in the Bechuleki that you can grab. If they can, keep to the word and do this itinerary residential then this itinerary city will be more bigger yeah my name is Dennis Siso what I do is a good property that have potential of and that is why I'm giving you the update of this estate if you have interest in getting this property the right person to talk to is Dennis Siso so I'll wait for your call thank you so much and please kindly subscribe to my channel. My name is Dennis Isom.